when the UV index hits three or above, be sun smart. So slide on those sunnies and enjoy the outdoors. Remember to slip, slop, slap, seek and slide. The share market started well but quickly soured, finishing the day down 67 points or close to 1%. Tech stocks were on the outer today, while travel companies also gave back some of yesterday's gains. Mining and energy companies were stronger but remained volatile amid wild swings in commodity prices. And the Australian dollar was mostly weaker today, buying 73 US cents, 66 euro cents and 56 British pence. But one Aussie is buying more than 85.5 Japanese yen, which is the highest it's been since November and within reach of a five-year high. Thank you, Chris. A quick check of petrol for you now. And the average price for unleaded is $2.05 a litre. For E10, it's $2.04. Here's Belinda. Thanks, Georgie. A bit of cloud about today, but thankfully more of that glorious sunshine to keep us happy. Temperatures up to two degrees, cooler than usual for this time of year. Penrith the warmest, reaching 27, 24 for most of our western suburbs and the city. Not a drop of rain for Sydney today. Most of it once again falling over that northeast corner of our state. Thankfully less than five millimetres for most places. Ballina and Yamba getting the biggest downfall, recording 13 millimetres. The onshore wind sticking around this weekend, bringing more coastal sh showers. The heaviest rain expected across western New South Wales thanks to this low pressure system here. Fine and 24, 27 degrees in Brisbane, 24 and partly cloudy skies over Canberra. A sunny start to the weekend for Melbourne. Let's head back home and this is where we're expecting those showers across New South Wales tomorrow. A few in the east, mostly about the northern coast and ranges. Less than five millimetres again for most. Heavier falls of up to 10 millimetres in the west with the chance of some thunderstorms as well. Daytime temperatures remaining below average in the east, ranging from 23 to 26 along the coast with surf conditions finally easing. That includes beaches across Sydney, but just be careful if you want to swim. Stormwater pollution levels are much higher than usual due to the extreme weather conditions. More than 100 swimming sites across Sydney affected today, so make sure you check the latest info online. The state government's Beach Watch page is a good place to find it. The good news is the sunshine will be back tomorrow. Partly cloudy skies with light winds and a 60% chance of showers, most likely in the afternoon. Less than three millimetres for cast for our west with some patchy fog early in the morning. Temperatures similar to today, a top of 25 or 26 for most suburbs and the city also heading for 25 with 0 to 2 millimetres. Similar conditions on Sunday with a shower or two and staying around 25 in the city. The showers lingering next week but nothing to worry about. Less than 4 millimetres forecast each day until Thursday and we will get plenty of sunshine with partly cloudy conditions all week. So after a few wet weekends, Finally, we can get out and about and soak up some of that sunshine this weekend, Georgie. Finally, a better, brighter forecast for you. Yeah, we love that. Well done. Thanks, Belinda. And that is Nine News for this Friday. Deb Knight's next with The Current Affair. I'm Georgie Gardner. Thanks for being with us. Enjoy your evening. Good night.